And now we're going to get back to the story about the new organized retail crime task force. The news comes after two more smash and grab robberies were reported in Chicago overnight and early this morning. WGN's Gaynor Hall is live at the Thompson Center with the latest. Good afternoon, Gaynor. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Dina. Uh, Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raul just wrapping up a press conference announcing tens of thousands of stolen goods worth millions of dollars were recovered at several storage units in Chicago this week. The items, including clothing, some beauty products, electronics as well from multiple nationwide retailers and this is the first major bus connected to his organized retail crime task force announced in September partnering retailers with law enforcement prosecutors also trying to work with online marketplaces to disrupt these crime rings just this morning in the Roosevelt collection in South Loop police say three men pried open the door of a clothing store stealing merchandise and cash overnight in West Town there was a smash and grab at a GameStop police looking for two males in that case and along the Magnificent Mile, luxury retailers are frequent targets. Raul's office says organized retail crime is often mistaken as isolated low-level incidents. The actual operation of these organized schemes are a lot more sophisticated than might be reflected in the footage of, of the uh, commonly seen smash and grab uh, a group thefts. There's a well organized secondary market. Our goal is to disrupt the criminal enterprises that engage in the overall scheme and send a message to these criminal operations that we will identify them and end the destruction they cause to our communities. He also says those retail crimes can be connected to drugs and human trafficking. The task force investigation into the millions of dollars worth of items recovered in Chicago this week is ongoing. So that's the latest live in the loop. Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Back to both of you.